All right, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Let's talk about it. Is this the movie we all needed? Or just another cog in the wheel of the Planet of the Apes saga? It is now, isn't it? Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes was directed by Wes Ball from the Maze Runner trilogy, which I enjoyed very much. Every movie had something to add. We'll review that later. This movie, technically a part four, maybe like even a part nine, ten, depending on where you fall on the whole Planet of the Apes timeline loop thing, whatever. Uh, it's the beginning of a new trilogy, and it gives us a time jump from the last movie. What I would want to see is Caesar's lineage, Cornelius, see what happened, what was the real turnover, what was the real turning point for the apes and the humans. But instead, we get this character, Noah. Noah. <laughs> Noah the ape. How do I feel about Noah? Okay, let's be honest here. I don't think anyone wanted Noah. I don't know if anyone asked for whoever Noah is supposed to be. Uh... I feel like he's an okay character. It's weird to say I don't feel like he's a leading ape, if that means anything. He never really grasped me as a character. His depth wasn't really there for me personally. I, I didn't feel any connections to Noah. Spoilers in this. So if you're watching now, spoilers. I'm going to have spoilers. This is not spoiler free. Sorry it took me so long. I've seen this movie like a week or more ago, but I'm just getting around to it. So. Might be a little rusty or some things. But anyway, village getting attacked, everything. I never really felt the connection or urgency from Noah. It's more just like, hey, these guys attack me. Let me go find my peeps type thing. You know, we, we, it's kind of been seen before in these movies recently. But anyway, he goes on a quest. He meets up with an orangutan by the name of Raka, who just is a servant of Caesar's message and just seems like he has everything completely all wrong, which, you know, Seems like a pretty human thing to do. So, apes, there you go. It's just a lot of things about this movie that I just felt were a little lackluster. It, it looked good in the sense of the CGI and, the, and, the, and everything looked good, but it didn't really give us anything stunning visually. It's just all kind of like little wastelands. It kind of reminds me of just a mediocre PlayStation 3 video game in the sense of the environments are just so just lifeless and barren and just generic. Like really, you could have pulled these scenes and put them in any film and it doesn't scream Planet of the Apes to me. I, I don't really can't say much about what they could have did. I would like to see more ruins and stuff, but hey, maybe they were trying to take it slow for the first part of this trilogy. That's what I'm holding out for. They really didn't grasp me much. Like the characters in the very first, uh, not the very first, but the one, the first of this section, this era of Planet of the Apes, uh, the one starring James Franco, of course, it had a lot of human characters, but it also had a lot of apes. And I feel like Rocket and, and, uh, Koba and, and even Buck, like these apes had character. I felt like I was connected to them. So when things happened, I felt it. I felt it. Even Maurice, like I felt it here. Rocker was cool, but I never really, you know, we didn't connect. I didn't connect with Noah throughout the whole film, even to the end of the film. I was just like, eh, eh, if I don't see him again, whatever. When the other films ended, I wanted to see more of each of the characters. I wanted to see more Maurice. I wanted to see more, more Rocket. I wanted to see uh, Caesar's son, his first son. I forget his name. Caesar's first son. I wanted to see more of him. I wanted to see more of the apes. They were actual characters to me that I connected with just off of one film and sharing that film with a lot of other human characters that I also thought were pretty decent. So I don't know. Something here just, just didn't connect. Nova was just like, I, I, I get what they were going for. I like what they did with the twist and everything, but that was the most entertaining part to me, but the character itself was just like a train wreck of a character. But I just have to give her credit. She she played it great and it did share character did have a few layers. Uh very deceitful character, but had layers and motivations that by the end of the movie we seen, okay, this is understandable. I understand. I don't know. A lot of the other characters were just kind of moving around. The the main antagonist, uh Proxima. Proximus, I enjoyed him. He was 
sort of entertaining his his motives his ideals you know you kind of felt him a little bit he's probably the one that i connected with the most because he actually had some type of conscious drive and point what a wonderful day where the rest of the apes even the ones from noah's clan is like you guys are here you're there your clan got burned out you're working with this guy i can't even tell if you actually dislike him or not i i and their, and their intentions of the characters, their convictions weren't really clear, which is okay. That's fine. But it was just a little jarring for me personally, especially when this just seems like a lot of rehashing of what we had on the other movies. The apes being in a camp. Uh, we seen them locked up in the first movie. We seen them locked up in the second movie. We seen them locked up in the third movie. It's like fourth movie here we go how many times are we gonna have either pet or slave apes this is getting redundant one gorilla that's like a bossy gorilla amongst apes we've seen that with buck in the first movie uh the second movie i can't even remember if they were the third movie we seen it again with donkey red donkey and now we see it again with this gorilla but by this time i just didn't even care like we're gonna give these gorillas an actual real setting here or there was just going to be one bodyguard gorilla to chase around the main character here and there or be i don't know i don't know i just feel like they could have brought in something new some other elements uh the human character may very reminiscent of the last human character in the last movie i get it i get the connections i get the the great big twist and turn around so i i let that one go just took a shot sort of landed not square for me, but it was okay. But besides that, everything just kind of didn't feel fresh to me. It really didn't feel fresh. And for some reason, even though the apes seem like they progressed and they can, some of them can read and their speech is, they, they're saying full sentences, having full conversations. Those 300 years, it seems like they lost a lot of just general knowledge, like with the guns and weaponry. We came from a movie where we had apes walking around with with automatic weapons and shooting and bombs and things like that. And now it's all like, whoa, 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 what's that? Like, what? Like, it, I, I don't know where this faction of apes supposedly grew up or came from, but it just seems like, well, and then the big reveal at the end, like I said, spoiler, 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 spoiler. The human characters they seem still pretty on track and they have satellite dishes and everything. I hope this is leading somewhere. I'll get to that in a second where I think it's leading. But yeah, the, the apes just kind of like, what is it? I don't know. It was just a little much for me. I would love to see a film that goes over Cornelius says rain, if there is a rain or whatever. However, whatever happened after Caesar to get them to this current point. When did they stop using guns? When did they lose all this knowledge of, of Caesar and everything that happened? How did that go about? I guess that's something for another time, which I respect. Cool. Uh, I, I see what uh, West Bowl is doing here. He wants to make his own thing. I just hope the next film, let's get into that now at the end. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. The humans are found to have satellites and they're contacting other humans in other bunkers. They're highly intelligent. Um, you know, they they have weaponry, I assume. There's bunkers with weapons. So I'm looking forward to the next movie being sort of what the sequel to the the other Planet of the Apes was. And we get to see like an actual war or fight. But it seems like the apes are so regressed at this point that it won't really be much of a battle. They're kind of like, like they're, they're going backwards. So I'm hoping this is just me speculating, hoping it right in the comments if you agree or you think something different or you got a theory. But I'm hoping they're going in the direction of they, they shift the focus off of Noah or even, dare I say it, get rid of them and bring us to an ape colony that hasn't been much changed from the Caesar lineage, who knows all the things that happen and has the weaponry and can go to war with these current humans, because at the state they are now, it's just basically going to be a massacre in my eyes. So I really don't know where this is going. Ooh. In order for me to go see a sequel in the theaters, they need to have a really good marketing and trailer because as it stands right now, after the last film, War of the Planet of the Apes, and this film, it's kind of a snooze fest, to be honest. And I'm not really excited about, about this this anymore. Not really excited. Not really excited. But 
you know, Proxima's gone. The, the whole ending he had was very anticlimactic to me. Like, ooh, Eagles. Uh, I I don't know. I just it just didn't bring enough enough new things to me. The Eagle thing was cool, but it just didn't bring enough. And I probably I wouldn't really give this movie much of a rewatch. Maybe once just to see if I missed any Easter eggs or clues, but it didn't really bring any great value to me, especially as much as I like the two beginning films in this saga. I I don't know. It's it's it's, it's been falling flat. So that's that's all I gotta say about that, man. Uh Write in the comments what you guys think. If you think I'm crazy, think I'm out of my mind. If you agree with me, if you actually like Noah, please tell me what about this character did you really connect to? He's just really just I don't know. He's just a just a character moving the story for me. It could have been anyone in there. There's nothing about him that stands out to me that I'm like, man, I need more Noah. So uh, yeah, write in the comments. Tell me what you think. I don't have a rating system yet for my reviews, but let's see. It's apes. Let's just bananas. Give it four bananas out of ten, I guess. Four out of ten. Four out of ten stars or whatever you want to give it. Um, yeah, I hope they got something more coming. And hey, that's about it. That's all I got for this, man. Comment, like, subscribe if you like. If not, just come back. Check me out sometimes. Watch some of my other reviews. It's your boy, Just Dale. Wrong Agenda Podcast. And I'm out.